buy me like me. Recently, I've been getting some calls from some strange numbers like this one 0191 5835. Usually, when you get numbers like that and you don't understand it, you put it into a search bar, you press search, and the website like this comes back telling you the title of the website, which is whocalled.co. Dot UK. This is the phone number I just spoke about. Let's take a look at how many other people are getting annoyed with this call or call -er or callers. The average rate here says harassing number of searches 3,404. So that's hot. Last checked a few seconds ago. Let's take a look at this. 32 comments. And it ranges from six hours ago when one person said, phone rang, I picked it up and completely dead at the other end, no noise. Nine hours ago, called me several times, now blocked it. And that's really the point I'm getting to, which is what this video is about. How to block nuisance calls like this. All the way down to the 19th of July. So from six hours ago to 19th of July, yet another call didn't answer, no message left. This time, however, this on 22nd july this person said knew my name when i confirmed who i was hung up loud loudish voice a lot of background noise and that's just weird who, who knows what's going on i don't really have to concern myself too much with who it is but I, I know i don't want to talk to them this number is not recognized so here's the question how do we block it let's take a look at that we can go into play store and ask for call blocker. And these are some of the programs that come up. Call blocker, it's got 4.6. I think this is the one I got last time, not the Vlad Lee one, but the Android Rock, which was very simple to install. This one right here, and let me, oh yeah, that's what I should have switched on. That little icon in the corner, this one. You just click on that. And there we go. One second, close that, go back. Click on that again, here we go. This one right here, yeah. Android Rock, oh I love that. That's the one we're gonna use. So let's click that and install it. This is the new Galaxy S7, by the way. As you can see, I'm very happy with it. It's very quick. The picture is crystal clear. It almost has a direct representation of the colors on the computer screen that you see on the screen itself. The colors on it are, are beautiful. Deep blues, reds, greens. So let's open up this. It's installed now. Let's take a look. Allow call blocker to make and manage phone calls, really. Okay, allow. Allow call blocker to access your contacts. Allow. And it's really as simple as that. Now all I have to do is go back to the phone number I want to block. Let's see. Where was that? It's called blocker right here. And go click on that. And we can copy it. scroll down from the top if I can grab that that's it and then go down to universal copy click that and then copy that's the number click this little thing here text copy to clipboard then go back to call blocker Take a look at the blacklist. How do we add? It's not very intuitive, is it? It does work. Let me try this. This one right here. No. Can we not add to the blacklist? Here we go. Click the add button. 
from contacts, from call log. App is not allowed to read the call log according to the newest Google policy, so you have to copy and paste the number from the call log of the system UI. Okay, very good. A little security there. That's been copied already, so let's go back to call blocker. Click that. Oh yeah, we can go to clipboard. Then we can click this one. And that's the number that's bothering me. We're gonna take a look at the other program in a minute because I know you saw me bring it up. It's called Universal Copy and it allows you to copy any text on your Android screen. It's very handy. As you can see, I went up into the menu, selected the Universal Copy it opened up a frame around the entire screen and then I could pick whichever text I want. I'll show you that in the next video. But right now, we've managed to use Universal Copy. We've copied the number. We've put it into the, the Add to Blacklist text box. And what next? That's correct. Now just click Add to Blacklist. That should work. All right, clipboard's done. You can go on there. Oh, click done. And click add. Sign up to drive with Bolt and win a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Learn more and register at partners.bolt.eu. That's the only thing I don't like about this software. Those ads. Well, it's a small price to pay for nuisance calls. Blacklist. What's, what does this mean? Blacklist. What does it mean when you don't tick it? Like block logs. It should tell you. Anyway, let's leave it. Oh, okay, that's just to select it. All right, deselect, just in case I want to delete it from it. Okay, so it isn't true, it's just me. And we can add another one, but this is the only one that's been calling and getting on my nerves. So you can use this software to do the same thing. Just go to Google Play Store and or just go to the Play Store and download that same copy of the program. You can use whatever program you want, but this one is fairly easy to use. See, I hadn't used it for a little while. I used it on my other phone, the Nokia, and that was very intuitive. As soon as a number comes in that you don't want to call you again, you could just add it, but because Google has added this new policy now, you have to copy and paste. So the next video will probably be about universal copy. Buy me, like me, signing out, and thank you for watching. Buy me, like me. Helping you to help yourself.